Hey learners, welcome to my channel. I am Miss Jolie, your science teacher. For today's video, we were going to discuss about the module 3 and 4 of quarter 3, which is about harnessing energy from volcanoes or also known as the geothermal energy. For today's lesson, you will learn To illustrate how energy from volcanoes may be tapped for human use. Specifically, it targets the following objectives. Number one, describe the type of energy coming from the volcanoes. Number two, identify the types of volcanoes which can be good sources of geothermal energy. Number three, identify volcanoes in the Philippines which are sources of geothermal energy. Number four, Create a diagrammatic representation of geothermal energy flow in geothermal power plant. Number five, explain how geothermal energy is tran transformed into electrical energy. And lastly, identify the advantage and disadvantage of using geothermal energy. But before we proceed on our lesson, let us know first these following reminders. Utilize the comment section to answer or ask questions. And use appropriate words when chatting in the comment section. So for today's video, let's now proceed on our topic which is about the geothermal energy. So, what is geothermal energy? Geothermal energy came from the Greek word geo means earth and therme means heat. In other words, this is the heat from the earth. Geothermal energy is the energy beneath the earth's surface that originates from the melted magma and other radioactive materials. The interior part of the earth is composed of materials extremely high temperature and pressure, which is a good source of geothermal energy. An examples of geothermal energy are geyser and hot spring. Geyser is a rare kind of hot spring that is under pressure and erupts, sending jets of water and steam into the air while hot spring is produced by the emergence of geothermally heated groundwater that arises from the Earth's crust. Hot spring also known as hydrothermal spring or geothermal spring. The difference between the two geyser release extremely high, high pressure kaya siya pumuputok or sumasabog. Most sources of geothermal energy are located around plate borders and where volcanic eruption occur. This is because the hot molten magma is located under the Earth's surface may heat the circulating groundwater. So what are the characteristics of volcano which can be a good source of geothermal energy? So we have four. Ano ano yon? Una, heat source or the magma chamber. Okay. Pangalawa, reservoir. This is a permeable rock for holding water. Pangatlo, is the cup rock. Okay. This is responsible for sealing and prevents water and steam from escaping. And lastly, the water, which is a medium for transporting the heat back to the surface. Now, according to the study, Philippines rank as the third in production of geothermal energy in the world. According to the Department of Energy, 14.4% from geothermal energy or country's powered production is produced from geothermal energy because it is cheaper than other production such as using of coal, fossil fuel, or a natural gas. 
So, the geothermal energy can be generated in two ways. First one is the geothermal power plant. It is where heat from within changes water into steam, which steam turbines that generate electricity. Geothermal power plant consists of large metal pipes and other instrument that is used to collect all the heat to become steam and generates it into electricity. The other one is the geothermal heat pumps. Geothermal heat pumps top heat close to the earth's surface to heat water or provide heat for the buildings. Since the Philippines is one of the country located along the Pacific Ring of Fire, it consists of hundreds of volcanoes that are present and can be utilized in the production of geothermal energy. Here are the seven places in the Philippines where geothermal power plants are located. The first one, Tiwi Geothermal Power Plant in Tiwi, Albay. The next one, Mount Apo Geothermal Power Plant in Kidapawa, North Cotabato. The third one is Makban Geothermal Power Plant located in Calaca, Laguna. Next is Tongonan Geothermal Power Plant found in Tongonan, Leyte. The other one is Bago City Geothermal Power Plant in Negros Occidental. The other one is Valencia Geothermal Power Plant in Negros Occidental. And lastly, the Bacon Geothermal Power Plant in Sorsogon. But how is geothermal power plant generate electricity? So it composed of five steps. The first one is drilling. Wells are drilled deep into the earth to pump steam or hot water to the surface. The second one is the collection of steam. So ano ang nagaganap kapag nakolek ang steam? When water reaches the surface, the drop in pressure causes the water to turn into steam. The third one is the generating of electricity using the turbine and generator. The steam spins a turbine which is connected to a generator that produces electricity. The fourth one is... The cooling tower. Saan ngayon pupunta? Ano ang nagaganap sa cooling tower? Cooling tower is responsible to cooling the steam which is condenses back to water. And lastly, the injection well. Injection well the cold water is pumped back into the earth to begin the process again. The other way of generating electricity is using the geothermal heat pumps. Water is taken directly from a source and into the heat pump. Then, it is recycled back out into the same source. So, heat pumps is responsible for the cooling and heating of houses and buildings. The next one is how the energy is transformed to generate electricity in geothermal power plant. Here are the cycles of energy in generating electricity. The first one is the thermal energy. Thermal energy, or also known as heat energy. This energy is produced from a rising temperature that causes collision to atoms and molecules. 
The second one is mechanical energy. Mechanical energy, since we're talking about the geothermal energy, it has something to do with the use of turbine and generator. Mechanical energy possessed by an object due to its motion. And lastly, the electrical energy. Electrical energy is a result from the flow of electric charge. The use of geothermal energy has an advantage and disadvantage. Number one, this is eco-friendly. Why? Because they do not produce byproducts that are harmful to the environment. The pollution level is much lower. The next one is renewable energy. Renewable energy from the word itself, renewable, ibig sabihin, napapalitan, nauulit, okay, without thinking na mauubos ang sources ng energy. The third one, it is a good sustainable source of energy because... It provides a reliable source of energy as compared to other renewable resources. Napakarami po natin klase ng renewable resources. But the heat energy or the geothermal energy rather is one of the best energy that we can produce. Okay, kasi innate na yung init, yung pressure na nirelease ng earth. The fourth one, no fuel is required. Because it is naturally occurring resource and there is no fuel required. Lastly, cost effective. The government need not to improve fuel for geothermal power plant. Mas tipid. How about the disadvantage? The disadvantage we have the financial constraint because... The installation cost of a geothermal power plant is quite high. Magastos in terms of production, pero sulit naman kapag ito ay ginagamit na. The second one, location restricted. It needs to be built in places where the energy is accessible. Kaya nang nabanggit kanina, it should be located around plate borders and where volcanic eruption occur. The third one is risk of triggering an earthquake due to alteration in the earth's structure as a result of digging. The fourth one, gases are released during digging. There are gases stored under the Earth's surface, which are released into the atmosphere during digging. And lastly, sustainable management. Reservoir can be depleted if the fluid is removed faster than replaced. If you like this video, don't forget to comment in our comment section ng mga topics na gusto nyo pang i-discuss ko for the next lesson. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for more updates in our science class. Bye!